Hello and welcome back to 3 in 1, Discovering Our Triune God. And I'd like to start off with a question this morning. What do frogs, hail, blood, and darkness all have in common? Well, they were all things that God sent on the land of Egypt as a part of the ten plagues. And God sent these plagues against Pharaoh and the people of Egypt in order to set his people, the Israelites, free from the slavery that they were in. And at the beginning of the book of, Mo of Exodus, excuse me, God sends Moses to Pharaoh with a message. And that message is, let my people go. But when Moses delivered that message, Pharaoh had a simple message of his own. No, not going to happen. And so God showed his power as the true almighty God by sending ten plagues upon the land of Egypt. And not only did these plagues show God's power and strength, but they revealed to the people of Egypt that the false gods that they worshipped were just that, false gods. And they could not stand, they could not be, because God, the God of the Israelites, the God of Moses, your God and my God, is the one true God of the universe. And every time one of these plagues would come, Moses would visit Pharaoh and he would say, let my people go. But Pharaoh's answer remained the same. No, not going to happen. And our Bible reading this week and our Sunday school materials this week focus on the tenth and final plague. And it was a nasty one. It was the death of the firstborn at the hands of God's angel. But before God sent his angel into the land of Egypt to kill the firstborn in every household, God made sure to set up a rescue plan and a plan of salvation for his people, the Israelites. And it involved a special meal, it involved a special sacrifice, and a special job of painting blood on the outside of the door frames of their homes. And when the angel of death would come and see that blood had been spilled and that this family was following God's rescue plan, the angel would pass by or pass over that home onto the next. And so still today, Jews and Christians alike, they celebrate and they remember this moment in history with the feast and the celebration and the holiday called Passover something you may have heard of, and they celebrate a special Passover meal. And I don't know if you knew this, but the very same Lord's Supper meal that we share during our worship services here in church was something that Jesus started in the middle of this special Passover meal with his disciples 2,000 years ago. And this meal was to celebrate and to remember God's great rescue plan for his people, the Israelites, releasing them from their slavery in Egypt. And God's rescue plan to release you and me from our slavery to sin, death, and the devil is something that we celebrate in worship and in Bible study and in our homes every day. And that's Jesus sent to earth to live, to die, and to rise again for you and me. May you be blessed as you read from God's word, as you talk about and complete the activities in our Sunday School materials this week. And have a blessed week in the name of Jesus, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.